This is my first solo camping trip in my car. And uh, let's see where this goes. So this is the first night in my little car. Okay, let's do a recap on our first night sleeping in the little camper car here. I ended up sleeping in Revere de Lou at the Walmart. There was 20 plus campers there, so that was really cool. I learned my first lesson. I look forward to hopefully tonight sleeping somewhere where maybe there's like a bush. At like 5 a.m. I woke up and I needed to pee real bad, but because I have all the curtains and stuff for them up in the back, I can't just get in the car and drive. I have to put everything away. Well, we're gonna use yesterday's Tupperware from uh, dinner. So today, when Walmart first opened, I bought a amber colored jar that closes airtight so that if I need an emergency pee in the car again, I'm ready to go. All right, let's see how uh, day two goes. This should be fun. Okay, so we've gotten the first hike of the trip done. Um, up in here in uh, Gaspasi, just down from Mate. Um, and it's a cute little two hour hike is the first one. It shows you a really beautiful 360 view of all the mountains in the area. So far so good. I have had a wonderful day. It was supposed to rain. <laughs> Almost fell. Originally I was thinking of doing one of them big mountains like Mount Albert, but decided against it because it was pouring rain and I it was pretty dark out. Maybe my first time doing a solo trip, I don't get lost on a mountain. Maybe we don't do that. So instead I've done a bunch of little hikes, which are super fun. Yeah, I think that's all to report. Okay, let's give a recap on day three. I slept overnight just outside of Gaspé, a little kid's camp, and it was very cute. When I woke up in the morning, uh, there was a gentleman sitting at a table nearby. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna carry out my merry way. So I got into Fionn's National Park. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Just before 8 a.m. Uh, I ate breakfast on picnic tables outside of the hike and then I went for a hike. Um, and then I got back and then I went for another hike. And when I was pulling in, the gentleman at the gate says, do you want to do 15K or 8K? And I go, well, which one is better? And he goes, oh, well, the 15K is better. I said, well, then I'm gonna do the 15K. That sounds great. But what we have learned is that I am a child when I hike. I don't know when enough is enough. I went out for the, the seven-ish K and I started coming back. I don't know when I'm going to be tired. I just all of a sudden am tired. I'm so tired. Unlike a toddler, it is not appropriate for me just to lay down on the ground and go to bed and have my parents magically bring me back to my car and then home. No, I still have to walk. And then I wanted to find some ice cream and I want to reward myself for said hike. There was, there was no ice cream to be found. So I ended up skipping the ice cream and then I went to my campsite for the evening and I found this site. Oh my goodness, it was beautiful. It was along like a little beach area. One side was kind of like a little inlet with some kind of more resting water. And then the other side was an actual beach um, or a bay area. There was tent set up, there was camper vans, there was campers, there was cars. It was amazing, I felt so comfortable. So then I set up for there for the evening and I went and I hung up by the water and then, and then I started to rain so I put up the windows. Having the mesh netting in the back seat though while I'm camping is the best thing ever because I can just roll down the windows and then it's basically like I can have airflow but no bugs in and it's been working great. Ah uh, yeah, and then I had the best sleep probably of this trip so far. I slept in until like 8.30 because I didn't feel rushed and I felt like it was appropriate to be there. So that was nice. Today, so we're day four, I got up and I drove over to Pierce. I checked out the fancy rock that they have. So I walked down to the water and then over to the rock. And then I went up a hill to the lookout point to see the rock from above. Cause you know, you gotta see the rock from all the angles. And then I got some ice cream and now I'm headed off to my next spot, New Richmond. And then I'm gonna go across to Mete again tonight and then off on the ferry tomorrow. So far car camping has been amazing. It's been 
much more flexible than any other type of camping I've done. Knock on wood that things keep going well, but so far I have zero complaints. I have had the most fun. I think yesterday was the first day where I started to be like, oh, like I kind of miss hiking with other people and having some social time, but zero complaints for being alone. Yeah, that's it. That's how we're doing. Good morning. It's cold. It was a very good sleep though. That's my view. There's crashing waves all night. And uh, this is my stellar breakfast, which is overnight oats, which are disgusting. Uh, and a banana. Yeah. We're on a boat, and we're almost in Bay Como, and then we're off to our next hiking on adventures. I'm just docked, ready to go. So I'm up on the top of La Chute and Fjord National Park. Holy shit, it's pretty. Good God. I'm up next to the waterfall here, as you can see. And I got this all to myself right now. Ah, this is so much fun. I'm so happy. If I die, this is where I've died because I've slipped and fallen off the waterfall, but. I am being safe and not near slippery rocks. Ah! So I just made it to the top and uh, I am the only person up here right now. This is incredible. Wow! Wow! <laughs> just need to wash our hair because it's been too long. It's fine, there's no one around. I feel like there's no time like the present to give you a grand tour of the digs that I have going on here. On this back door, I have this netting so that I can roll down the window and no buggies get in. I have curtains set up. They're a little janky, but they do the trick. I have my bed here. I keep my hygiene bag here. I keep my pee jar there. I keep my hat in my backpack, my fanny pack, which was in the backpack during the day. Over behind here, I keep some electronics that I use to charge things at nighttime. I have an extra sleeping bag in the corner here. The front has my cooler and a reflective cover that's meant for the front, but it works really well on top of the cooler so it doesn't get as hot, so it keeps its coolness a little longer. I have extra water down here. I have my garbage bag here. And then inside, snacks. We got a rooftop carrier up here that holds the chair and then the Coleman stove and a little extra stuff. So got everything I need here. So this is the view with all the curtains closed. So as you can see, I just touch with my head on the pillow. Over here, we got our clothes for the next day, our tripod and some toilet paper down in that green bag, keys and phone all stay next to me at nighttime. So I know where they are. I lock myself in here. This is the setup for the evening. I lay on an angle. The windows are cracked a little bit and from the outside because it's black, you can't super see in, which is quite nice. I think that's, that's about it. So all that's left for the evening is to uh, baby wipe myself head to toe because as much as I was able to wash my hair, wash, uh, more like rinse it in the uh, water, I haven't had that kind of access. So anyways, every evening I've been cleaning my whole body head to toe with uh, baby wipes and do I feel clean after? No. Is it better than nothing? Yeah. Do I still smell awful? Oh yeah. But it's fine. We just pack on the deodorant and we don't get too close to people so it's fine. I'm nose blind to it at this point. So it's currently freezing in here. I'm under the sleeping bag and have the blanket on. Um, and the only one like less freezing in here is to get out and go turn on the car. And make the car warm because I'm pretty sure the windshield has frosty bits on it. 
top but that means i have to get out of bed so i made it to the top of the final hike of uh, this trip in jacarche park at le loops trail um there's tons of birdies flying around it's very beautiful um yeah i'm gonna have a snack up here and call a day and drive back to ottawa maybe get some ice cream on the way home i got the ice cream snake friend it's time to evacuate i need the pee get oh no we can't escape that way do i go pee with a little sneaky by my feet i don't know <laughs>